Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yashala, Kuholo Yawa Bashim Yawashai, Bahashim Rakach Hodash. The honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. The by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yawashai. To the best of their ability, Zachanan, the Wap, just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that, it, pray that it's edifying by the spirit. You know, as uh, you can see, this Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, you know, they're still testing all these missiles, man. I think you had India test a, mi um, a, a, a missile. North Korea and Russia tested a missile within the same day of, you know, what's going on throughout the world. And, you know, eyes are on, on, on warfare, man. Eyes are on these nuclear weapons, man. And this this weapon right here is is crazy, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, there's one thing I'll say. See, you got these proud Americans. They be in the comment boards talking all kinds of crap about Russia. But what you haven't seen is America going into Russia like how they've gone into all these third world countries. See, America America got sense. They they know not to run off into Russia like see those other countries that they've been you know bombarding for the past 20, 30, 40, 50 years. You know. They're not running off into Russia with that, man, because they know that Russia will push that damn button, man. And they got the nuclear capability to take out the continent of America with no problems. Okay, this is the title on the, um, it's, and this is a military, um, you know, so give or take, we, 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 you know, chew the meat, spit off the bone, so to speak. But this is the military channel, so to speak, and they, they know what's up. Okay, it says Russia fires 7,000 mile per hour zykron hypersonic nuke missile as un unstoppable weapon just weeks away from being used on warships so this is a in a <clears throat> slacky un unstoppable weapon this weapon is unstoppable if they but matter of fact let's go into it let's just read into it this is a cold weapon man and actually that goes off into esau edom because russians are, are are edomites just like these american so-called white men are edomites that's their biblical name they're not white. They're actually pinkish to reddish in color. President Putin over there and his people in Russia, Ukraine, these Germans, these Italians, these French, the 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 small hatters, the 1948ers, your Europeans, your Romans, your Greeks and Greece and whoever. All those people are the same exact people. Their biblical name is Esau, Edom. And their gift that they were blessed with was the sword. And they live by that sword to this very day. That's why. There's nothing but so-called white people running the earth. That's where you get Job 9 and 24 from. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? See, it's the so-called white man that's dealing with weapons like this. Now, they may say Russia, but Russia is not in the Bible. It's got a whole nother name in the Bible. All these, these nations, these, these nationalities are in the scriptures they have biblical nationalities you're not going to see american in the bible you're not going to see white man in the bible you're not going to see japanese in the bible you know you're not going to see chinese in the bible all these these people have biblical names it's 18 nations on the planet and all of them have a biblical name and the so-called white man his biblical name is esau edom you go into the story of esau what you're going to see is he's a cunning hunter cunning hummer cunning hunters make great weapons they camouflage themselves. They blend in with the terrain and then they strike. No one's better at that than the so-called white man. Their, their gift with the sword. No one makes a better weapon than a so-called white man. The so-called white man dominates when it comes to weapon making. Now you have the so-called Chinese. China, you know, they're, they're, they're notorious for bootlegging. You can go to New York and, and you can get a Birkin bag that look just like the Birkin bag or Louis bag or whatever. They're, they're, so when it comes to the weapons, they're just duplicating what... They've seen the so-called white man do. But who's in control, control, control of weaponry? It's the so-called white man. You're not going to get around it. That's biblical. That goes off into the blessing that Isaac gave to um, Esau once um, Jacob got the blessing and, um, you know, got the birthright and blessing. And, you know, Esau to this very day, he's mad about that. You see, now the nation of people that don't have anything like this. It's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're the only nation of people with no standing military on the planet. Think about that. Let that soak in. We're the only people. We're, we're, we're caught up within nations where the Lord scattered us to. 
That's how you know we're the children of Israel. We're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth into um, the so-called white man's and, you know, so-called jack. We're scattered throughout the four, four corners of the earth. Our people join the militaries of their enemies. They don't have a military. You will never hear of a so-called Negro. He's on, 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 on TV talking about how they're testing their new hypersonic missile. You're not going to hear nothing like that. You're not going to ever hear um, of, of a so-called Negro. Oh, this, these are our new um, attack helicopters. This is our, these are our new fighter jets. Jake in the hood with guns that white men made. We don't have stuff like that. Those are part of the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. But now what we do have is our army is the, 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 uh, the Lord of hosts. The Lord is, is our protector. The Lord is our military. He's the man of war. He's the one that's going to come and dominate and take down our enemies. You see, that's the good news of the gospel. That's the good news of the gospel. But let's let's get some of this real quick. It says Russia has fired today the new 7,000 mile per hour hypersonic Zycron nuclear missile and another chilling warning to the West. See, <laughs> another chilling warning to the West because it is chilling. Dramatic footage shows the unstoppable weapon ahead of its deployment on warships in a few weeks. So and these things are going to be they can shoot from land and sea. I'm telling you, man, it's about to get it's, it's getting crucial out here. It says it comes after Russia staged nuclear missile, missile drills earlier this week, rehearsing how it could destroy the West within minutes. Footage showed the massive hypersonic ballistic missile launches launcher being transported through the forest of uh, Ivanovo region. And the latest show of strength, the 7,000 mile per hour Cyclone, was fired from the Admiral Gorfkov Frigate in the Bering Sea and hit a target at a range of 625 miles in the White Sea. A statement from the Russian Defense Ministry said, according to the objective control data, the Zykron hypersonic cruise missile successfully hit a sea target located at a, at a distance of about 1,000 kilometers. The flight of the hypersonic missile corresponded to the sp specific parameters. Delivers, deliveries of the Zykron are due within months and possibly weeks. So, hey, they moving, hey, they moving, man. The Kremlin had previously branded the deadly weapon, which carries a conventional or nuclear warhead, unstoppable. Russia released footage of the deadly warhead, I mean a deadly weapon, that could hit London in five minutes back in March. Man, that's, whoo. Five, what you gonna do in five minutes? That ain't even enough time to give your citizens warning, man. You just out shopping and boom. <laughs> man, come on, man. It says, um, in January, Deputy Defense Minister... Alexei Kaivo Roscoe said, I could be pronouncing that or I'm butchering this man's name, but anyway, no matter. The state tests of the Zycron sea based hypersonic cruise missiles are nearing completion. From 2022, serial deliveries will begin. The Zycron will be deployed on Russian frigates, frigates and later on submarines. Earlier, it was identified by Moscow State Control TV as Putin's weapon of choice to wipe out American cities. And in the, in the event of an atomic co conflict, Ooh, it says TV Zebda, a channel owned by the Russian Defense Ministry, said of the footage, the Russian Zykron hypersonic missile stealth features have been disclosed. The speed of the Zykron hypersonic missile is so high that it prevents the opponent's air defense system from detecting its impact time. In fact, it's launched. It's launched will be known only after the target has been hit. Golly, boy, that's fast as shit. Before you know that it's been launched, you already hit. So you really, you don't know. That's crazy, man. Says the missile also has a variable trajectory to avoid detection, viewers were told. So they can't even detect it when it's coming. The Zycron, let me see, or Tersertcon is only one of Putin's terrifying super weapons. See, this is just one of his weapons, man. It says the Delhi RS-28 Samot missile can fly 11,000 miles, carry 15 warheads, and has the potential to destroy an area the size of France. Earlier this week, Putin ally boasted how Russia is set to deploy 50 Satan II nukes. He previously bragged to the group of school children that the missile will take up combat duty this year. Another of Putin's super, super weapons is the SCX-9. 
Skyfall, a nuclear armed cruise missile that has an unlimited range. It can be launched from land or sea and is able to stay aloft for days. So you got a missile that can just stay in the air for days, man. Making even long distance attacks light work. I'm telling you, man. Whoo. The nuclear weapon can be dropped onto a seabed by the sub submarine and travel through shores, shore defenses until it reaches the desired location. That is crazy, man. That is crazy. Okay, so that's pretty much about it. And like I said, you go into the comments, what you're going to see is a bunch of proud ass Americans talking about what they got. Uh, and we got this and we got that. But anyway, let's go into. um, Let's get this blessing of the sword thing out of the way here, because what you're going to realize is it, the earth. Matter of fact, let's get um, Job 9 and 24 real fast. Because the so-called white man is running the earth. Now, let's see what the scriptures say about who's running the earth. And who they really are. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So that's letting you know that the so-called white man is running the earth. That's got everybody terrified out here. Putting sanctions on every goddamn body. Making all the rules and regulations. Telling everybody what they can do and can't do. <laughs> They're the wicked. It's clearly saying it. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not where and who is he? He covered the main faces of the judge. The main judge face he covered was the father, Yahweh, which the world ignorantly calls Jehovah. They call him God. They call him all these titles. But his name is Yahweh. That's the father's name, which means that he exists or he is to be. Because if you Google God, more than likely all you're going to see is so-called white man pop up. The image of a white man, especially um, when it comes to his son, Yahweh Shai. He's, this, he's the, the next main judge. Yahweh Shai. You know? They got him looking like um, um, some effeminate ass uh, uh, bearded lady because the Lord is not a, a so-called white man He's he, he will be a dark melanated man he, today he will be a negro let's just put it plain he's a dark melanated man the way the description describes him with woolly hair deep voice the scriptures also says that he was a, a austere man which means that he's he was harsh or he was rough rigid he's not this soft ass picture that you see normally of you know when, when they you know, quote Jesus, so to speak. So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Because like I said, again, what you're not going to hear about, you're not going to hear about no Negroes with no no tech like this. They're not about to allow a Negro to, to, to build. No, they find out you're trying to build a goddamn replica gun in your garage. They're coming to get you, man. You know what kind of hoops and, 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 and man, what type of shit you would have to go through as a so-called black man to try and start doing something like this? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just straight out of, you know, MIT and I'm just a Negro. Um, you know, I got a few of my Negro friends and we have this idea and we just want to open up. You know what kind of shit you the permits, the licenses, the background checks. Man, they're they not about to allow you to go set up nowhere and, and create no 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 weapon of mass destruction. They're in control, man. This right here is letting you know. And like I said, again, the so-called Chinese, they're just bootleggers. They're just replicating shit to keep um, the so-called white man off their ass. So that goes along with North Korea. But now you got these countries that saying, have you become as weak as we? That's what the scriptures is saying. Have ye become as weak as we? Matter of fact, let me see if I can get that real quick. OK, come um, Isaiah 14 and 10. All they shall speak and say unto thee, art thou also become weak as we? Or thought become like unto us because see America used to be that super duper superpower. Now you got countries out here that's that's got inter, intercontinental intercontinental continental ballistic missiles themselves. Slovakia. It's always kind of hard to phrase that all together, but they're ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, and what that means is they they can travel for thousands of miles from one continent to another one. So these countries have missiles that can reach America. With multiple warheads, you see that that, that um, the story said that it can take out a city, or um, it could take out a, a a a place the size of France. Let's see, uh, maybe we can see what the size of France is real quick. And we talking about they they talking about within in in minutes, man. And we can probably see what this one is. The size of square mile of France. Shit, as far as this map, it's not looking that small. 
Okay, it says the reports total as 643,801 kilometers. Oh, so damn. Oh, man, that's a lot of space. 248,573 square miles. It can take out something that huge, man. Just from one, you know, just from, man, look, it's getting real out here, man. It's getting real out here. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, y'all better repent, man. But, you know, I didn't want to keep this lesson long. I just seen that, and I seen the, um, the apostles. They was talking about it yesterday. Um, They had this, um, you know, huge... Where all the camps was out there, you know, I'm not sure if that was just before um, camp or if it was after the camp, but hey, they was going off into this, man. They they, they was going into um, Jeremiah, um, where is that? Isaiah, I think 34, Salakia. I was just watching it too. Um, but anyway, let's get the scriptures on um, as far as these, these, what would be happening in the end days, man. See? And it, it says, um, Yahweh shot foretells the future. That's the title. On the NLT version over here. Well, let's start at verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai, it says, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So that's a commandment from our Lord, to, to, that no man will mislead us. You know? It says, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. That's already happening. There's plenty of so-called white men with, with, with thousands of followers somewhere up in some goddamn woods, and these people actually really believe that this, he's, you know, the Lord. <laughs> you know, you got that going on. And then, of course, you know, like we went into Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges. The main judge face was that they gave you the so-called white man for in the place of our Lord, which is a dark, melanated man. You see, so you can't be deceived by white Jesus these days, man. If you are into a Christian church and they, they're not teaching you that the Lord's name is Yahweh, the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, no Christian church is capable of doing that these days. They're, they're just basically, hey, if they're in the white Jesus, you need to be cutting. You need to be getting the fuck away from their man like, like the damn place is on fire, man. You know, you need to be getting away from those churches, man, but white Jesus, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because those that's all idol worship. That's all idol worship, man. The so-called white man, he used the scriptures to his advantage. Now, he didn't throw it to the background now that he got everybody in order. And he's running every damn thing. That guy don't really believe in the scriptures, man. He know that they're real, but he, he he's not. They're, they're cut from a whole different um, cloth, man. These people are wicked as hell. You know how wicked you got to be to push on the people that the Lord is some white guy for hundreds of years. And you clearly know that he's not that. That's not the way that he look. Come on, man. But this is the point right here. Verse six. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet for nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. And, and, and another thing, too, see, what they're not mentioning is all these U.S. generals, you know, with their reports that they can't keep their they don't have what it takes to defend themselves. Really, in reality, America can't defend themselves against um, China nor Russia. Now, now China and Russia is getting together. That's why we went into the scripture. Have you become as weak as we? Are you like one of us now? Because like I said before, all this stuff, these this taunting that's going on, all this, they testing missiles and they doing all this stuff and they talking all kinds of shit about America. Man, that wasn't going down 20 years ago, 30 years ago. America was running things, man. There's that superpower. Now they're losing their edge and people are starting to see it. You know, now they're starting to see, okay, uh, America is becoming weak. And once they go down, everybody going to get that lick in. But, you know, the prophecies goes off into this place is going to be nuked. And, and, and that's why it's so important that you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans repent. This is clearly the Lord is telling you what will be going on in the last days. It's already happening. So he if he said this 2000 years ago, you better believe that the clock is ticking on it, man. We're, we're down to the last hour of this thing. That's why it's so important to repent. You so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, man. The scripture, Romans 13 and 11, it goes off into, um, 
And that's pretty much, man, the, the whole breakdown of the scriptures as of late, man. It's just the same. It's the same um, um, lesson being going, going out that we're, we're telling our people you have to repent because we're definitely in the last of days. Romans 13 and 11, it says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation near than what we believe. See, now we're, we're close as ever right now. With all these things going on, man, hey, it's time to get, man, it's time to get right. Before the Lord make this move, man, straight up. Just some day, just being honest about it here, man. This is what the gospel is about. Okay, verse 12, it reads, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And, and how do you do that? That's by, first off, you have to know the true name of the Father, Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be. You have to know the true name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and get rid of that white Jesus, man, because like I said, again, that's an idol. That's idol worship. If you, if you, don't, if you haven't read the scriptures and don't know that the Lord is not a white guy by now in 2022, you got all these smart devices. Google it. Just, just do a Google search real quick. You'll get some information. You know, the so-called white man, they lie so goddamn much. They want, you know, they want to retain this, this power of the so-called white man's um, image, so to speak. But this is a so-called a Christian country that that continually kills on a regular basis. Don't the scripture says thou shalt not murder. <laughs> These people don't do nothing but murder. They stole this country with murder with white Jesus as their banner, man. You see what I'm saying? But, for you know, you have to turn from your works, of, from the works of darkness, man. Repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Turn from all that dirty, dumb shit you're doing. Get into these scriptures. See what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. You have to at least be making an effort, man. Because what the white man told you was that you're saved by grace. That's not in the scriptures. You're not saved by grace like that, man. You know, we have a grace period. But the scripture says that those that endure to the end. Matter of fact, let me grab that. Those that endure to the end shall be saved. You're not at the end. That's a lot. Matthew 20. Oh, it was in the same chapter. I could have read on Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved because it's going to be things that we're going to go through. Matter of fact, let me just go back then real quick because we know I was um, I came out of it. Let's go back into Matthew because it's going to be some things that's going to come to pass that, that hey, a lot of rough shit is going to happen to us, man. Let me start back up here at seven for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are happening right now. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So we're in the beginning of sorrows right now. It says, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So this is something that we're going to go through. And if you can't make it through this, if you, if you denounce or renounce Yahawashai or the father within this time period, then you're not going to be worthy enough to, you know, make that make the kingdom like that. You know, I'm the first on the first round. That's why it says now it's going to go off into it and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that endure to the end shall he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So you got to go through all this stuff. You see what I'm saying? And that's what's going on out here, man. You, you, you have to you're not saved uh, as of yet, man. But that's what Christianity teaches our people. And that's the reason why our people, they, 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 they go out and they, they just live a life of a goddamn demon. But they can go to church on Sunday. And say, please forgive me, Father, in the name of white Jesus. That's a, a false doctrine. To think that you're already saved, that is foolishness, man. You can just live any kind of way that you want. It, 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 you know, it, it's, 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 it's really just terrible, man. To think that the Lord went on the cross, went through all that beating, all that mocking, people spitting on him. He went through all that pain and suffering for you niggas to just, con just continue to be niggas. It don't even make no sense, man. That is a false doctrine. Uh, um, um, white Jesus is idolatry. You better get it together because, look, this is what you're facing right here. You're facing these goddamn missiles, man, coming to this place. You're facing these missiles coming to this place, man. 
undetected. America don't have no defense against none of this stuff, man. And like I said, again, they, they, they the big, bad, proud Americans, but you don't see them running over there in the Russia like they done ran into Afghanistan, Iran, and all these other little, you know, little smaller spots. See, people calling America's bluff these days, man. This place is done, man. You can stick a fork in it, man. This place is finished, man. But just wanted to just touch on that and bring that out. And hey, we have to report on these things because this is how close you're getting. Nuclear war is on the table, baby. It's not just wars and rumors of wars no more. It's wars and talks of nuclear wars now. That's when you know it's serious, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> and like I said again, hey, these countries, they, they, they have a common enemy and it's America. Babylon the Great. The great whore, man. The virgin daughter of Babylon. The uh, 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 spiritual Egypt. Sodom. This place is terrible, man. It's terrible. And it's going down quickly, man. And we just pray to you, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh that he will protect us and keep us safe. And, you know, whatever our lot is, we're going to be able to endure. Because it's going to get rough. We just read it. We just read it, man. So with that, pray that the lesson was um, edifying. Kwame Yashallah.